Hi guys, my name Judith Grace Akinyi, aka Saga. Once again, welcome to Saga Prison Stories. Um, here in Migori, a place called Awendo, to catch up with the prison stories in uh, this area so that we can compare what happens maybe in Nairobi and other areas. We'll be doing a lot of this in different uh, counties. So if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe, like, share, comment, and let us know what you'd like to hear from our prison stories. Today with me, I have a guest from Awendo. Uh, she once was in a prison in this area, and allow, I'll allow her to introduce herself. Nam kwa majina naitwa Leonida Atieno Uwuru. Kuzaliwa nimezaliwa huko sehemu za Oma Bay County. Katika nyumbani kwangu saa hii nimeoleka mm -hmm. Rongo mm -hmm. Rongo District Ngori County. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kwa, kwa sasa vile niko Hapo nime lilioleka niko na bwanangu na bwanangu alifariki vile alifariki ndio nikakuwa na shida mingi zile hakuna vile ndaweza fanya pamoja na watoto nilikuwa nayo hakuna matumisi yoyote nilikuwa naweza tumia baba mmoja akakuja akaniambia mama mzee hakuna haja ukae hapa pamoja na watoto na bwana hakuna hakuna vile unaweza kusaidia Zile pesa bwana alikuwa nayo ulitumia yote kumsaidia apone na kupona akafariki. Kuja nyumbani kwangu unisaidie kidogo kidogo alafu nakuja unasaidia nayo watoto. Mm. Bwana alikuwa mgonjwa wapi? Bwana alikuwa mgonjwa hapo tu nyumbani kwetu. Ndiyo, alikuwa na ugua nini? Bwanangu alikuwa na ugonjwa ya TB. Mm -hmm. Pamoja na na hiyo TB ya kukohoa mm. na hii ya nini? hii ya figo mabavu eh, ama eh hizi ribs eh ribs mm -hmm. nilifanya yeye akakufa okay mm -hmm. sasa ikikuwa hivyo mm -hmm. kuenda kwa huyo jamaa mi pia nikasikia kwa sababu mm -hmm. mtu akikwambia aende kuja unisaidie mm -hmm. utaenda mm -hmm. nikamsaidia kuenda huko kwake nikapata anafanya biashara ya changa mm -hmm. hiyo biashara ya changa mm -hmm. nikamsaidia nikamsaidia sasa siku moja mm -hmm maskari akatokea kutokea tulikuwa na yeye na makastama mm -hmm. makastama kwa nyumba yake kwa nyumba kwa, kwa nyumba yake mm -hmm. yani alikuwa na nyumba mm -hmm. na ako na shedi yaku, ya ku ya kuuza okay sasa hapo ndio maskari wakatokea mm -hmm. na makastama wakatoroka mm -hmm. was ma, makastama wenyewe alishikwa ilikuwa mbili mm -hmm. au waka wakajitetea wakatoka mm -hmm. sasa mimi kumuita mm -hmm. akuje anitete mm -hmm. akakataa akasema awesi kuja kute mm -hmm kutetea nikamwambia vile uwezi kuja kunitetea mm. na niko na watoto na ni shida nilinileta kwako mm -hmm. nipate kidogo nifanye nini nisaidie nayo watoto mm. akaniambia hiyo awezi akaliingilia mm -hmm. sasa kufikisho yake ingine nikapelekwa kotini mm. kupelekwa kotini mm. jaja akaniambia nilie lie kililio yangu ujitete ujitete mm -hmm kujitetea mm. jaja akasema vile liliamua kuenda kuuzia mtu ndio nisaidie nayo watoto mm. lazima koti nifunge nipelekwe jela mm -hmm. ndio ifue ikue mafundisho kwangu mm -hmm. nifukue nikifanya tinajua nafanya nini mm -hmm. ndio nikafungwa kufungwa nikafungwa miaka mbili mm -hmm. nikakaa gresani mm. mpaka nikamaliza mm -hmm. kabla sijamaliza mm -hmm. Mamangu kusikia tenilishikwa, mm. akaenda akaona watoto vile watoto wako. Mm. Alafu huyo mama yangu, mm. akakuja kuangu mkugerezani. Mm. Kufika gerezani, mm. vile aliniona, mm. mamangu alilia kabisa. Sasa mi mpia vile, ile uzuni alikuja nayo alikuwa kilia, mi mpia nikafanya nini, nikaanza kulia. Mm. Sasa tu kuongea, mm. ea karudi tu. Mm. Sasa mpaka au maskari ya prison, mm. ananiuliza kwa nini uwezi ongea na mamako nikamwambia siwezi nikaongea na mamangu kwa sababu ameona ni shida ndimefanya mimi nikafanya nini nikaingia jela mm. sasa kutoka kutoka jelani kurudi hapo kwangu nyumbani niliwacha mtoto wangu mkubwa alikuwa kwa second kwa form 3 form 3 alafu akafikisa form 4 form 4 
kurudi nikapata nikamwambia mtoto wangu si nikurudishe shule akasema mama pana, siwezi kurudisha shule mm. maneno yetu ndime imeingisa wewe mm. kwa shida mm. and mimi siwezi rudisha rudi kwa shule mm. akaacha shule hivyo akarudi tu kwa shule akafanya mtihani kufanya mtihani mm. akarudi sasa kuri nikamwambia so fanye nikupeleka hata kwa college nyingine akasema pana, siwezi rudi hata kwa college mm. kwa sababu sister yangu mmoja ameshaenda kuoleka kama mm. wewe yuko umeenda ukapata yako na mimba huwezi mm. ukamrudisha nyumbani mm. sasa mimi siwezi nafanya kitu kibarua kidogo 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 sasa mm. vile tuko hivyo sasa mm. mtoto wangu ya ya tatu msichana mm. saindi inafanya form 4 mm. form 3 inaenda form 4 sana mm. sasa kijana yenye inamfuata iko kwa class 8 mm. sasa vile ako kwa class 8 mm -hmm. na hao wawili ni mapacha mm. niko standard 3 na mdogo kabisa iko nasari. Ah oh, okay. Sasa hebu niambie jela ulipoenda ulipata aje ndani huko. Jela nilikuwa nilipata ni shida. Mm. Kwa sababu mm. waangalia maslahi ya watu. Mm. Vile umepelekwa pale mm -hmm. wanaweza sema yenye imepeleka huko ni shida yako. Mm. Unaweza pelekwa shambani. Shambani unapelekwa si karibu saa nyingine mko watu hata wa 10. Mm. Na ile shamba munataka mumlime mm. karibu heka tatu. Mm. Bora hao wamalise samzao. Mm. Awataki kujua mumechoka ama nini. Mm. Iwa kuna. Mm. Nasema mumlime hata kama unasema unaumwa na pali. Wanasema shida yako ndilifanya nini? Ndili kupereka jeli. Mm. Alafu mpaka sweji lipasuka huko. Mm. Siyo sweji munapelekwa munafuruta. Mm. Munafuruta hiyo sweji mpake kwe safi. Munavaa gloves ama? Hakuna gloves zenye mnavaa. Mm. Si munafuruta na majembe. Mm. Sasa mkisha mfuruta majembe, mm. yani hata kuna ile ya, ku, ya kujifunikia. Mask. Mm. Mask hakuna. Hiyo mm. kazi mnafuanya. Mkisema, mkitatea, mkisema. Mm. Si mpige hapa picha, mm. mtumie sirikali, mm. aone vile wanaesa kusaidia jela ya wanawa. Ya wanawake. Wanasema, we mm. unaangalia kusaidia wanawake, ama unatumia ile shida yako ilikuleta hapa. Umalisi ufanya nini? Uende. Uende njimbana. Alafu, usafi huko ndani? Chakula, usafi? Chakula ya huko ndani, mm. mboga vile ime, ime, hakuna mboga ati muna inanunuliwa. Mm. Munaenda shambani yenye muna lima, mm. diyo muna chuna, muna rudi kukula. Mm -hmm. Mboga vile mumeltoa hivyo shambani, muna kata hivi marambili, muna weka kwa jiko. Mm unapewa mafuta ya kijiko moja ile ndogo ya seven spoon mm. unaweka ndani yake unakula hivyo hiyo ni ya watu wangapi for example kama sisi tulikuwa watu ya 30 mm. na hakuna si ati lazima uwekewe mboga yenye kijiko imechota hiyo ndio itakuwa hata kama ni supu hiyo ndio itakuwa yako mm. kama ni siku ya nyama mtapewa nyama moja moja hiyo mm. ndio yako umepata hujapata mm. umepata hata mfupa hivyo mm -hmm. ndio utaenda watakuambia malisa siku yako rudi ukule kwako vizuri vizuri na usafi kwenye Us... kunalala choo pali, pali tunaslala hizo mm. manyumba tulikuwa tunalala mm macho zilikuwa ndani yake mm. na pali munalala. Mm. Sasa hiyo usafi ni yenyu. Mm. Kama mjaosha, hiyo mm. ni yenyu. Mm. Hakuna mwenye atakuja mbona mjaosha cho. Mm. Mbona room yenyu inanuka. Mm. Lakini kila Friday, mm. mwana wambia, munatandika vitu zenyu inji. Mm. <laughs> na kulikuwa na maybe kuchapwa, ama wali, hakuna kuchapwa huko kuchapwa, penye ulikuwa. Kuchapwa, hiko kama umekosa. Saingine, mm. Chenye likuwa shida sana, mm. kama uelewi chenye unawambiwa. Mm. Lakini kama unaelewa, mm. uwezi chapwa. Lakini kama uelewi, kwa mm. sababu hata mimi lilichapwa mm. maratatu. Kwa sababu kama unawambia, kaba na likuwa sijui kaba ni nini. Mm. Sasa yapo la simu fanyi nini? <laughs> Uwe, ukule kiboko. Ukule kiboko. Mm. Na hata kengele ikipigwa tu kidogo, mm. ukikosa kusikia, mm. utaruka kama chura, kutokea mm. hapa mpaka huko barabarani ya lamu. Mm. Kuenda na kurudi. Unarukishwa kama chura? Kuenda na kurudi. Iyo. Hakuna cha kusimama, mm. wala ufanya nini, hata mm. we mkungu kabisa, mm. iyo hakuna. Mm. Utafanya iyo kasi. Paka yeah. urudi. Mm. Yeah. punishment. Yeah, ni punishment. Mm. Ama kama utaki kuruka, utatembea na magoti, mm. utoka hapa, hapa mpaka kwa barabara, mm. mpaka urudi. Aish. Na kama mtu mgonjwa? Kama mtu mgonjwa, unareport kila usubui. Mm. 
unapelekwa hospitali sasa vile watu walikuwa naona kasi ni mingi mm. sasa unajua watu walikuwa na report kila siku afadhali watu wapumsi wapumsi kwa nasema sasa hata kama mtu sasa ni mgonjwa hakuna mm. cha report mm. kwa nini watu wanaenda kazi mm. si wanasema ati sasa hiyo ndio advantage mm. yenye watu wanaona mm. ati ndio waki report waweziende kazi, kazi. Mm. Mm. okay mm. sasa nataka kurudisha nyuma kidogo mm. Hii mambo ya Bwana Ulisikiaje kama wewe ndio uliingia jela ama mlikuwa mnauza naye Hapana mm. So wewe ndio ulisave na yeye akakimbia Eh Aya, sasa ulipotoka jela mm. Ukatoka jela sasa mm. Ulienda wapi na ilikuwaje Vile nilitoka jela mm -hmm. nilirudi tu mpaka nyumbani kwangu mm -hmm. Vile niliingia nyumbani kwangu mm nikapata hata watoto wangu hakujua ati kama walikuwa najua tere mm. na wakujua ati nitatoka saa ngapi hasa mm -hmm. lili vile nilitoka nilitoka kitu saa sita hivi mm -hmm. nikasikwa na huzuni mm -hmm. nikakatwa hapo mgori nikakaa mm -hmm. kile kia saa kumi hivi nikachukua gari nikaenda nyumbani nikapata watoto wangu mm -hmm. sasa kulishikwa na huzuni kwa nini Nilishikwa na uzuni yani na unafaa kuwa na raha umeshatoka jela. <laughs> si nilikuwa na sikuwa na uzuni vile ninaenda kupata watoto yangu. Mm -hmm. Yaani hiyo nilikuwa ili uzuni ilikuwa na niingilia. Mm -hmm. Sasa nikaenda nikapata watoto wangu ndio nikaongea nao. Mm -hmm. Kwanza tumeingia kwa nyumba akaingia huyo kijana wangu tukaomba. Mm -hmm. Tukishaomba mm -hmm. nikakaa chini. Waka, wakaniwekea maji bafu nikaoga. Mm -hmm. Nikishaoga, tukakaa chini, mm. ile chakula lipata kwangu ndiyo tulikula. Mm -hmm. Sasa kesheo, nikakaka kidogo, nikafikiria, sasa nitaanza na wapi, ama nitashika wapi. Mm -hmm. Sasa nikaanza tu kutembea kwa manyumba ya watu. Mm -hmm. Sasa nikuanzia kufulia watu, wanguo, mm -hmm. kidogo mm -hmm. kidogo. Mm -hmm. Tulirudi kwa ule bwana kwa yule bwana wa kuusa pombe mm. si kurudi mm. eh, si kurudi kwake kwa sababu vile yani ile maf, mazuni ile nilitoka nayo jela mm. ilishindwa vile ndaweza rudi kwake okay. kwa sababu hata wa familia yangu mm. wa uko mm. sasa walikuwa wananipigia mayo mayo mm. kwa sababu vile bwanangu lilipata bwana ya baba ya bwana mm. aliusa samba yote mm. ikaisha mm. Tum, mimi pale nimeishi ni kama hivi kama hii ya kanisa hivi. Mm -hmm. Sasa wakasema, oh, nitaenda wapi na watoto. Mm -hmm. Nikafumulia tu mpaka sahi. Mm -hmm. Bado niko kwa hivu mayangu. Mm -hmm. Sasa siku rudi. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Deni kanza kufulia watu. Mm -hmm. Jioni nikirudi. Na kata mboga kidogo kwa mlango yangu. Mm -hmm. ah, unakata skuma. Skuma. So uko na kibanda ya skuma. Ya yeah, kidogo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Asante kwa kutupea adithi yako. Mm -hmm. Um, viewers, you have heard her story, and as I always say, when uh, a woman goes to prison, a lot of things happen to the children, uh, like you've heard her case, and we've heard different stories, different cases. Um, most times, people serve for things that are not directly involved with them, and hence, the prison authorities or the government, it's high time they start thinking of how um, to actually rehabilitate. I think prison should not be a place for punishment. Yes, people have made mistakes, others have not. It should be a rehabilitation center. I have a feeling that the prisons in the city Rehabilitation has arrived there, but in the villages, no. You can hear the treatment is still the same. Beating of inmates, I don't think that is a way of correcting anybody. They should be given skills, they should be trained, so that when they leave the prison, they can use those skills to earn a decent living. That is just my view. Thank you for tuning in with us. We ask you again to subscribe, like, comment, and share with others, and we'll cover more and more of these stories. And may God really bless you.